Back in the late 80s, early 90s, Nintendo ruled the world. Well, they might rule the world again with the success of the Switch, but I digress. Mario was in every commercial, every billboard, and even every cereal box. After the success Nintendo had on their first home console, it seemed like they've already reached their peak. The Super Nintendo had big shoes to fill, but Nintendo knew that. To continue their upward trend in sales, they decided to package their brand new console with Super Mario World as its launch title. That was a good idea. Many gamers refer to Super Mario World as the greatest platformer of all time. What is it about this game that makes it such a big deal? Is it simply a game that defined the platforming genre, or is it so good that it still holds up today? Let's check it out! There's no doubt that a lot of Super Mario World's inspiration came from Super Mario 3. There's an overworld where you can go through alternate routes, there are power-ups that can make you breeze through certain levels, and the controls are incredibly tight. With that being said, Super Mario World is still a completely different title with different gravity, control, and level design. What made Super Mario World incredibly interesting was its added layer of exploration throughout its levels. There are secret exits scattered across many levels. If you see a red dot on a level before you enter it, you'll know that there's an alternate path where you can expand your map and lead to new levels, and eventually, the Star World and the Special World that account for more difficult, big boy levels. Super Mario World is a relatively easy game until you get to the special levels, but that doesn't mean it's not fun. Due to great level design and control, this game truly holds up today. If I had to critique one thing, it would probably be the boss battles, because they slightly just ramp up the difficulty, but it's the same thing over and over again, so I would say that they got a little lazy on that aspect. Okay, sorry about that, back to the good stuff. This was the first Nintendo game that truly gave Mario his upbeat identity, at least in my opinion. It's just an overall happy vibe when you play this game. This is obvious due to the bold and bright colors, upbeat music, and sound effects, but even within the level design itself. You get much more wide space where you can maneuver Mario's jumps, and it's easier to correct your mistakes mid-flight. The cape was an iconic addition to the series, and it makes platforming so much easier as you can glide from platform to platform. Very similar to the Tanuki suit in Mario 3, it's an essential power-up if you want to find all of the secret exits, so it's a multi-purpose item. It can help a newcomer who's simply struggling to complete a level, and also help a more seasoned veteran find secrets. I've always loved that aspect in a Mario game, the ability to appeal to all kinds of gamers, no matter what your difficulty curve is. Perhaps the biggest addition to this game and the Super Mario franchise was a green dinosaur named Yoshi! Yoshi was an instant fan favorite, gobbling up enemies and giving Mario immunity to attacks, even at his own expense. I can't tell you the number of times I've sacrificed Yoshi to a pit in order to save Mario. I'm kinda screwed up in the head a little bit when you think about it. Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of the Mushroom Kingdom, revealed in Nintendo Power Magazine that the idea of Yoshi dates all the way back to the original Super Mario Bros. on the NES. I'm glad they finally found a way to introduce Yoshi because... Yoshi's the man! Speaking of the man, let's talk about Koji Kondo. He's the musical genius of many Nintendo hits, and he's also responsible for, of course, Super Mario World. You can hear plenty of these melodies reused in later Mario games due to how fans have reacted. Koji Kondo is a rock star, there's no other way to put it. He creates hits in every single game he touches. As much as Super Mario World means to me, I'm a Super Mario 3 guy. At the end of the day, I like challenge over everything else, and Super Mario 3 has the edge over Super Mario World in that aspect. But when we're talking about a complete game with better control, graphics, and atmosphere, Super Mario World is the superior game. Whenever I play this game, I can't help but hear, HERE WE GO! as I'm jumping around Dinosaur Land.